The sun has come up again. Here in southern Manitoba, we're at the co-op between Winkler and Morden. Breakfast time. We're going to go and unload these big rolls of pipe that I have on my trailer. I got to drop off two in town and the other four at a farm location nearby. And we'll see what we got from there. So let's get going. Oh my. Oh my. I didn't know it was planned. temperatures. Can't complain about that. They have no snow here in Winkler though. Look at this. I'm pretty sure Steinbach on the other side of the river has, has snow. Maybe it all melted while I was gone the last few days. Nothing here. It has been warm like I was saying. Gonna have to get some snow quick or it's not going to be a white Christmas. This is my first drop. I've got to get two rolls off of here. These two back ones, I've already taken off some of my straps for these two. I just left one on each just to keep it on here until he comes and unloads it so it doesn't roll off when it's not supposed to. It doesn't damage it to roll off, but uh, yeah, if it doesn't have to, I don't want it to. So apparently, we're unloading these two here. And then they're going to put on another two. And then I'm going to take that whole thing to a farm that way. Right, he's already got one off. He's coming back for the next one. I've got the strap off and I'm just holding it here. Because if I, if I let go, it wants to roll off the back, right? But they're very light. I can just hold it. Until he gets here, he'll poke his little poker through it, and then I'll grab my strap out of there. And just like that, off he goes. So these are staying on, they're gonna go to the farm. So apparently he's got two other rolls, maybe some of these here. I only learned about this part of it today, this morning, so that's okay. I'm going to this other farm anyway so if they have two rolls from here that need to go there why not I'm the best guy to do it I'm already going there oh with this camera fisheye lens like this makes my head look really small doesn't it <laughs> ah, I look like a pinhead <laughs> is that better no it's the jacket I still look like a pinhead this is how I look all the time take the fisheye lens out completely okay it's not that bad it's mostly just the fisheye lens okay all right you guys are going to start calling me Pinhead. <laughs> oh, here he comes. All right, those are my two new ones. Slightly different size. 
All right, let's go get this all off my trailer now. Let's get on to the next load. Oh my, what's that up ahead? Is that snow? Well, looks like bad weather coming this way. We're facing west right now. That's usually where the weather comes from. Better get this trailer unloaded quickly. It's about 21 kilometers from here, or like 15 miles. I don't know if they're gonna have someone there to unload me or if I'm just gonna push them off the back. I hope there's gonna be someone there. Because those rolls are pretty light. I can push them off, but the thing is when they settle as you're going down the road, they develop like a little flat spot on the bottom sometimes. And then it gets really hard to get them rolling. But these bigger ones, I got about 15 inch diameter pipes on here. They shouldn't develop that glass spot the same way like a six inch pipe would, you know? You'd think. Now correct me if I'm wrong farmers, but this is called drainage tile. And they put this underground in the field to drain the water off the field and to where they want the water sort of works the same way as your uh, your weeping tile underneath your house. I should show you our new house. I've never had a sump pit before because I've never had a basement, right? I got a sump pit now. And I find it fascinating how that works. How the water under the house all sort of pools together into this one little container. And then once the container's full, it automatically just pumps it out. So that our house doesn't flood. same general idea as this stuff except this stuff they put across an entire field like a, a quarter section a square quarter mile or bigger Blumenfeld right Rhineland to the left Going to Rhineland. A paved road too, that's a bonus. Usually when I go to these farms, there's some gravel road involved. I had to call in. I wanted to make sure I entered the field at a right spot. I don't want to be driving over someone's crop or winter wheat or something, right? So this corner off to our right here is where they're doing the work and I got to get to the inside corner on the other side so I got to drive across the field to get there I said right before a creek should be able to get onto the field ah I see I think I see some tracks from the other trucks he said there were some other trucks that came in here yesterday here we go yeah I'm gonna go do some off-roading you guys ready Southern Manitoba style, across the fields. Yeah, right here, okay. All right, there's no driveway, just drive right onto the field. Drive around the outside edge. So I still don't feel right about driving right through right across someone's field even though there, if there's nothing planted here I don't know I grew up in southern Manitoba I know you don't just cross a farmer's field you can get in a lot of trouble for that I learned that when I was uh, I had a snowmobile <laughs> the number one rule is you do not take your snowmobile across someone's field that you don't know you never know what's planted there or... they might have winter wheat they might have other stuff they might have you know I don't know I'm not a farmer it's just rude, you don't trespass, you don't go across people's fields. It feels like it's just a big open field, right? But this is actually private property. Like all of this, as far as you can see, all owned by private people, private organizations, companies, corporations, sometimes private family farms. I wanna go around 
the edge. I see the farmer out there. That ditch right there, that's where they put these big pipes in, right? And the water gets carried away to a better place where it won't flood their fields. I'm not an expert on farming, so feel free farmers to correct me when I'm wrong. I don't, I don't mind being corrected. Half the time, I don't even know what I'm talking about. Old Blue's a farmer now. <laughs> Looks like they had corn on you. They missed a bit. Anybody hungry? and we'll be at it. way I hope it doesn't get soft all of a sudden you know I kind of like the other way better I don't like driving over these corn stalks They're very pointy I don't want them to poke through one of my tires all of a sudden I don't think that's possible but ah, you never know I'm just gonna go back to where this guy is and then follow the edge of the field We're almost there. So there's an entrance on both the east and the west side. They said I took the long way before, but really, this way felt longer. And bumpier. But whatever. I think it was about exactly the same distance. Like I said, it was right dead center in the middle of the square mile. So right in the middle of all the grid roads, as far off the road as you can get around here. Look at that road. That is wonderful. It's a gravel road, but it's a road. It's one step up.
You're a highway tractor. You're not a farm tractor. Come on. was the plan. <laughs> well, we didn't know what the plan was, otherwise I would have told you. But when I got back to work there, switched trailers, I was supposed to head down to Thief River Falls, right? Did I tell you that already? That, that's my next load anyway, going to Thief River Falls, coming back up here. I gotta do two of them. Uh, neither of them, or none of them, have gotten cleared yet for the border, so there's no point in me running down there yet to go get it, because I'd be stuck there anyways. I can't cross back into Canada until it gets cleared to customs. And they're having a little bit of delays with the broker. Uh, with the customs broker. We're getting the load cleared across, so. Came home for tonight, so I'm going home for the evening, for the night. We'll get going tomorrow sometime, and we'll get both done tomorrow. It'll be a bit of a longer day, because I won't be getting going first thing in the morning. Like, first, first thing, but it'll be morning when we get going. As soon as we get that clearance that, uh, we're good to go, I'm thinking we'll probably get that hopefully by 9, by 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. Hopefully by eight o'clock, then I can get going by nine o'clock, but we'll see what happens. So let's get the pickup out of here. Let's get old blue back in the spot. And let's go home see the family. Nice little midweek visit. End of the week, sort of. Got one more day in the week. It's Thursday today when I'm filming this. I've really got to get a power door opener. That'd be fun. Push a button. a different spot for that bike. I don't like that there. It's because I want to be able to come back a little bit further to make it a little bit easier to straighten out. Because the way I straighten myself out here, obviously with this line, but I lean out of my window there, and then as I'm leaning out of the window, I line up these steps, which are straight, with this line. So I make the steps nice and straight with that line, and then I'm usually straight in the shop here. But, I'd like to be able to roll back a little further. I'm always so worried about hitting the front tire of that bike. So I'm gonna move that yet. All of this is gonna get moved. I still haven't organized this place since we moved. That's how busy I am. All the time. All the time. So one of these, it won't take long. It's just one of these days I'll get in here, I'll work it all. I still gotta put all my flags up on the walls, my banners. I have this house banner right here that I wanna put up as well. Which reminds me, today's your lucky day. You guys ready for a house giveaway? The winter is coming. The temperatures are getting colder. So you gotta make sure that you treat your diesel with house products. At least have some in the truck with you. It's always nice to have, just in case. 
Better to have it than not to have it. So if you want a free giveaway, a free package from House, you can go to their website, which is listed down below. Same thing we did before, right? Go down to their website, down below my video here. If you're on a mobile device, go click the title. It'll give you a drop down menu. There'll be a title. It says, go see my great friends at Howes. And then there's a Howes link there. I want you all to go and click it and take a look at it. Take a look at it and choose which product do you think would be best to use to treat your fuel for winter time. Let me know down below in the comment section which one you think would be the best. Okay, and then send me an email at truckerjoshvlogs at gmail.com. Let me know your comment there as well so that I can come and line it up with here. We're going to pick five winners. Count them. One, two, three, four, five. Five winners. You're going to get a package of diesel treatment from my friends at House. They're very generous. We're going to be doing this giveaway for you, to you guys from them. So I'm just a third party here trying to get their products into your hands so that you can test them out. And if you like them, which I know you will, there'll be five lucky winners. I'm going to respond to you guys here underneath the video and say, you are lucky winner number one, number two, number three, number four, number five. If you already see that there's five winners, then you know the contest is over. So don't forget to also email me, truckerjustvlogs at gmail.com. That way we can privately discuss how we get these products to you. We don't want to just be blasting your mailing address to everybody on the internet, right? So let's keep that between me and you in the email. Email me, truckerjoshvlogs, gmail.com. Let me know what your comment was here so that I can go and find it and tag it, and I'll respond to it here as well. Good luck. And it's not just about wintertime either, keeping your fuel from gelling. There's also fuel treatment that you can use that treats your engine as well to keep your engine good and healthy year-round. You'll know what I'm talking about when you go to their website. Have you gone already? Pause the video. I give you permission, pause my video. Go down below to the description and click on the link that will take you to their website. I want you to take a look at all the house products there. I know these guys personally. They're a good company. They've been in business over a hundred years. So that's pretty amazing right there. You don't stay in business for over a hundred years unless if you sell quality product. Now I would say it is safe to bet that this truck could use a, a whole bull snot once over. We're gonna do another giveaway for them in another video in the future, so stay tuned. There's more giveaways coming. If you don't win in this giveaway, there's gonna be another one coming in the next few days, so keep watching, all right? You see what I do there? You see how I do that to keep you looped in so you keep coming back? <laughs> I need you to keep coming back, please. I need friends. Enough yapping, though. I wanna go home. I'll be looking forward to your emails, all right? I expect my phone to go off the, I was gonna say off the hook, but we don't have landlines anymore. Did I just date myself? I expect my phone to explode with emails from you guys. You gotta do something. You're gonna get some free product. You gotta do something. It's pretty simple. Just convince me you went to their website, tell me which one's the best. How do I turn the lights on in here? <laughs> I haven't even gone home yet, but you know the life. As soon as the truck is parked, the errands begin. The honey-do list. It's a pretty simple one this time. I had to go get some meds from the vet for our, our little dashing wiener dog, Frankie, or wiener, as he's better known as. He's got an enlarged heart, so he has to take uh, two pills every day, one with breakfast, one with supper. Uh, Cookie ran by the vet, picked that up, like five minutes before they closed, rushed in the door. <laughs> now I'm going home. There's always something to do. The honey-do list this weekend is uh, pretty long too, I think. We're, uh, I gotta hang up some Christmas lights because it's kind of embarrassing. Our new neighborhood is super, super Christmassy. Everybody's like huge into the Christmas spirit, which is awesome, right? We fit right in. The only problem is we moved in just recently, so I haven't had time to set up our Christmas lights yet. So we look like the Grinches on the block and that's not acceptable. I gotta set up some Christmas lights. I'm not gonna be that person on the block that doesn't light up their house at Christmas. I'm so glad our neighborhood does that. So that's on the honey-do list this weekend. What else do I gotta do? Oh yeah, we're wrapping some presents. Uh, we bought a few uh, new things for the house as well this last week that are being delivered tomorrow. So when I get back the day after, uh, we're getting a new, we got a new bedroom set for, uh, we got new bedside tables and a new matching dresser to go with it and we also got a new TV for the 
upstairs living area. And we can go more into that on the weekend. That'll give me something to blog about then. But I gotta mount that, get that up and running. It's a smart TV. The TV we have in there right now isn't a smart one, but uh, well, we'll leave that for the weekend to chat about. Then I got something to, then I got something to vlog about. I don't want to spoil everything now. But that's something we got to do on the weekend. What else do I got to do? I don't know. It's not the weekend yet. What's that saying I always say? Today's got enough worries. Let tomorrow worry about tomorrow. Let the weekend worry about the weekend. Let's worry about right now. And right now we're going home. Baby's first Christmas. Our first Christmas card this year, Theo. Look. It's from Jack and Annette in St. Catharines, Ontario. Wow, eh? <laughs> You like it? And we got these uh, gifts from them as well. They're beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you so much. And these. He'll just fit into this. This is a yeah. six, six to 12 month. And he's just fitting this now, right? Yeah, he's he's at the tail end of it. So another, another couple weeks and I think we'll have to go into full on 12 month. Mm, he's a big guy. Eight months old, but he's wearing that's a 12 month sleeper, sleeper he's wearing right now. <laughs> so he'll just fit this yet. Yeah, so it came just in time. So thank you very much. Thank you so much. It's beautiful. We love it.